Solid state drives have become all the rage in the recent years. And this was for a good reason. The read and write speeds had been simply unheard of up until then. No hard disk drive could ever compete with them in that regard. And as such, gamers around the world flocked together and pledged their allegiance to SSDs, hailing them as the undoubtedly better choice because of the performance they offer. But are they really that better? In this video, we'll be taking a detailed look at SSDs and HDDs and weighing all their pros and cons to see which one is truly better for gaming and why. Of course, we'll have to take speed into consideration, but we'll also be judging them based on longevity, durability, capacity, and noise. There really isn't that much we can say when it comes to speed. SSDs are just faster, plain and simple. But while their transfer speeds can surpass those of an HDD several times over, in practice, they're really only two to three times as fast. Now, two to three times faster is nothing to laugh at. It's an impressive amount, but it's not as great as the general hype would have you believe. The second category we mention is longevity. And what we mean by this was simply how long they generally last. Their lifespan, if you will. What's not so well known about SSDs is that they'll generally be outlived by their slower counterparts. Sure, they usually have a good 5 years of use in them. But then again, an HDD will easily turn a decade old before breaking, although their performance does get worse with time. We also mentioned durability as a factor, and this one goes to SSDs. While a hard disk drive may have a longer lifespan, it's also worth noting that they're more prone to malfunction. What makes SSDs especially good in this regard is that unlike HDDs, they have no moving parts. Now when we say capacity, we don't mean simply how much terabytes they can store. You'll just as easily find an 8TB SSD on today's market, just like you will an 8TB HDD. The more important thing to consider here is the price to capacity ratio. And HDDs are roughly 4 times cheaper than SSDs with the same storage capacity. For example, a $50 HDD will have 1TB of storage space. But the largest SSD you'll find at this price will only have 250 gigabytes. And the price discrepancy hardly dwindles with larger capacities. An 8TB HDD will cost you somewhere around $300, while an SSD with 4 or more terabytes can cost thousands. And finally, there's the noise. Like we've already said, a solid state drive has no moving parts, so it doesn't make a sound. HDDs, on the other hand, are bound to make some noise, although not every HDD is as loud as another. How much noise they will make ultimately comes down to their RPM. The more rotation per minute, the noisier it'll be. And of course, age will play a factor as their mechanisms wear down or suffer physical damage over time. So which one is ultimately better for gaming? Well, all the evidence points to HDDs being the better pick. They have a certain antique quality to them. They're sophisticated and they have rotating parts, which is great because it's reminiscent of the wheel. And the wheel, as you may know, is the best invention ever. All jokes aside, SSD is better for gaming. I mean, we all knew it was gonna win. The only category that it doesn't have going for it is longevity. There was never any real competition here performance-wise. If you're a gamer who values performance above all else, then the SSD is a no-brainer. But what we wanted to highlight is that they're not without fault either. They're not nearly as good long-term storage solutions, not just because of their shorter lifespan, but also because high-capacity SSDs will cost you an arm and a leg. Our advice is, get both. This is the approach many gamers take. Use an SSD as your system drive where you keep all of your games installed. 500GB should be more than enough. And then, use as big an HDD as you need for storing your data. This is without a doubt the most cost-effective solution. So, what do you think? Have you switched over to SSD yet? And if so, do you use HDD for storing your data? Or have you found a better solution? We'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.